Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Okay, so someone just sent me this clip from the All-Star Game. It's J.D. Martinez talking to Vladimir Guerrero about swing changes that he made that have helped him make adjustments and go from being a pretty good hitter to being one of the best hitters in the league. So let's look at them talking to each other, and then we're going to dissect Vlad's swing and see if there were, in fact, changes made. Okay, so I have these two videos synced up right here. This video right here is from 2019. This video right here is from this season, 2021. So I have the video synced to when the pitchers release the ball. And we're going to back up here to handbrake. As a hitter, you typically figure out when you're getting your timing down with the pitcher, okay, when am I going to get started? Am I going to get started at handbrake? Am I going to get started as the arm kind of starts to work its way up into the throwing position? Every hitter is different. It depends how much you need to load. Some hitters load slowly. Some hitters load more quickly. And so... The thing that Guerrero talked about when he was talking with J.D. Martinez is he said that he started to load earlier. And J.D. realized this, which was really impressive. I think this is one of the most impressive things, actually, is that J.D. studies all the best hitters. And he knew something was different from Guerrero now to last year or two years ago. So let's look at it. So here's the handbrake, right? And the first thing you notice, right when the pitchers break their hands, and the ball starts to come out. Look at the video on the right. So you can see that Guerrero has already started to pick up his front foot. Right, His barrel is already starting to get up into a hitting position. On the left, he is just starting to rock his weight back, just beginning to. Right, Guerrero on the right starts to get his foot up off the ground at handbrake. Guerrero on the left is just starting to rock his weight back at handbrake. Now, on the right, Guerrero toe taps at this point right here. Let's see when he toe taps on the left. Boom, toe taps there. So you can see how much earlier the toe tap is on the right versus on the left. Now you may think, oh, that's not that big of a difference, but you have to think about how important tenths of seconds are in a swing, right? Things happen quickly. And so to the naked eye, you might not even realize this, but if you study it on film, you will. And Martinez, I don't know if he realized this just watching him hit or if he was studying it, if he was doing split screen and trying to figure out what was different. I know one thing, J.D. Martinez would be an amazing hitting coach if he ever decides to become one. All right, so here's the difference again in speed of when they begin or when he begins his load much earlier on the one on the right, later on the one on the left. So now, one, he won't feel rushed, right? If you start later, you're going to feel a little bit rushed. So Guerrero can slow things down, right? He doesn't feel as rushed. But the other thing is, is that he's able to complete his load on time. So I always tell our hitters, you need to get to your spot. And your spot is in a good position to launch the barrel of the bat. Right? And so if you're late with your load, then you'll never get to that spot. You'll have to shortchange your load. And so on the right, he's able to get there. Right Here he is. He's able to get there. On the left, it looks much more rushed. Right. So let's go through a couple of these. You can see there's that slight pause on the one on the right, right? He, he puts his foot down, he toe taps, he pauses for a second, now he starts to move out. The one on the left, it's touch and go, 
right? So there's a little bit more of a pause on the one on the right. He makes sure that he's able to get there. He starts to slow the game down a little bit. Look at the barrel pickup, right? So not only is it the toe tap, but look at the barrel starting to get in position to hit. All right, remember, these are synced up. Look at how early the barrel starts to get into position here, and look at how it's still laying flat there. Right Now it has to kind of quickly get up into the hitting position, whereas on the right, boom, he gets there early, and now he goes. You can even see if you watch, you know, when we're talking about the load, watch the stripe on his pants and the stripe on his pants. So with the load, we talk about getting this back pocket turned towards the pitcher. That's going to get your hip slightly closed. It's going to get your back leg ready to hit. Watch that stripe. See how it gets turned even more this way? And it's because his back pocket is getting turned that way. right? So he even gets loaded a slight bit more on the right than he does on the left. And again, not only is it he gets loaded a slight bit more, but he gets there on time. Now, he also talked about losing weight. And listen, there's no doubt when he first came up, he was a little out of shape. I mean, you can see right here. Look at him here. Look at him here. Like, he looks much thinner. And so being able to be, to have your weight under control will allow you to control your body, control your swing even more. And so you have to give him credit for being able to get the weight under control, really working on his body. But then also working on his swing and trying to get everything that happens sooner, get to his spot a little bit earlier. And it actually took JD a little bit of probing to get that out of him, right? He went right to the weight. First thing he said was weight. And then when he said, no, no, there's something different with your, your lower half. And he said, oh, my load is, is earlier. So this isn't by mistake. Sometimes hitters make adjustments without even knowing it. But clearly here he understands that he was getting ready earlier. So this is something either someone mentioned to him or something that he just felt, hey, man, I don't feel ready to hit. You know, I've got to get myself ready earlier. So really, really cool look at it there. Let me know what you think. Um, if you notice anything else, definitely let me know as well. Hopefully this helped you out. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.